My work goes in different directions, but I always think the core that started it was these astronaut paintings that I think were influenced from my life growing up in Virginia Beach. You know, there's enough images out there that I could paint every day and have something fresh, but I'm trying to focus on the iconic moments, almost the moments that like anyone would recognize from history, and then I'm trying to recreate it on like this like epic scale through paint. So you know, you have like the Mercury 7 astronauts, or you have um, the Gemini astronauts, and these guys, there's like this like kind of like hero worship, like badass element to it. They had like the country, and for the most part with the moon landing, the world like rallied around them. I picked the image, you know, load it up into Photoshop. Might tweak a little bit, not as far as the image, but um, crop it differently, just to see kind of how it works. I lay it out on the canvas in like a magenta kind of like line, line drawing. So that's kind of like the skeleton of the painting. It kind of gives it structure. And then I just work in sections, almost like a jigsaw puzzle as it comes together. I have different structure guidelines for the studio, but like ones like, like never double back move on to the next section. And I think in doing so, you get this like super freshness. You get these like little skips of the oil paint. You get this really nice like luster, how the paint dries. I think that's key to the way I paint. So two feature pieces in the show that I think are special is one of the paintings that I did for my first collaboration with Pharrell Williams and Billionaire Boys Love. And it's of the pilots in the Gemini capsule. You know, I kept this painting because I think it was like a breakthrough painting for me, as far as like technique wise, and also the, uh, where it went and what, what, what doors it opened for my career. In 2013, I did a painting, ended up being used for the cover of the White Lies album. And that painting, like, over like a course of a year, like snowballed, like it won album cover of the year. They had backdrops and music festivals and it was like 300 feet tall. It was on The Tonight Show, you know, Jay Leno's holding up the album cover. It was pretty fun, like all the traction it got. That painting's like, it's a size I don't make anymore, it's a small painting, but it's back in the show. And that's like a little gem. Like it was, it was like seeing an old friend again that you hadn't seen like in eight, nine years. So I was excited. And it still looks like I painted it yesterday, which I think is always fun when you see a painting and still has like a freshness to it. When I started making large scale paintings for sale for galleries, it didn't feel like something I just picked at random. It felt like I knew it. So it felt like genuine, it felt like organic. It felt that I knew, okay, I know a lot about this subject matter. I'm worthy of painting it now. Like I earned it, you know, that I could paint it.